Hi, I'm Tim from Canadian Craft Tours. And today we're answering the question, does beer expire? The answer is yes, it does, but not quite in the way other foods expire. It won't grow mold or get lumps or something like that. Modern beer mostly just goes stale on us. Now this wasn't always true historically, and in fact, we can observe this in the historical record. Pubs in England used to put out what they called an ale steak. It was generally a branch with some leaves on the end, or it could be a pole with a flag, but it was a signal to the neighborhood that the pub had made fresh beer and it was ready to be drank. And the reason why it was so important as a signal is because because the beer itself would stale and spoil within about three to six days. The reason being, beer at the time did not have hops in it. Up until the mid 1500s, hops in beer were uncommon. But when they started adding them to flavor the beer, they discovered a secondary effect. Hops have a strong antimicrobial presence. That is, they suppress spoilage organisms that might make the beer go sour. The more hops you add, the more effect this has. Suddenly, you didn't have to drink up all of the beer within a week before it spoiled. It would last longer and longer. At this point, you could store beer. Fast forward to the 1830s, Dr. Louis Pasteur, germ theory, and the discovery of the role of yeast in fermentation. Seriously, we didn't know what it did before then. We didn't really know how it acted. And suddenly you have a regimen where sanitation and the knowledge of how beer ferments would mean that it would last longer and longer. At this point, the big thing you had to worry about for beer storage was oxidation, staling. Oxidation in beer happens because all beer is exposed to the oxygen in our environment as it's made. Now brewers go to great lengths to prevent this. When they're transferring beer between tanks, they'll flush a tank with carbon dioxide gas to drive all the oxygen out before they pump the beer in. They'll also do other tricky little things like all of their lines, that is the pipes and hoses that they use to transfer beer around. They'll fill them with water first, push that water out with the beer, diverting it down a drain, and then switch over to fill that tank. So measuring and suppressing dissolved oxygen in your beer is crucial to understanding how long it's going to last. Now kegs are an interesting case. Because they have a very large volume of beer compared to the amount of oxygen they're exposed to, they last a long, long time. Kegs take forever to go stale. And also having stored them cold helps as well. Cans are a different matter. Being 335 or 473 mils, the can has a much lower ratio of beer volume to oxygen exposure. There are various things you can do to try and keep the oxygen from entering. Fill the can up a little high, put the lid on with foam so it's actually carbon dioxide rather than gas, and you're well on your way. But in order to measure and understand the rate of aging and staling in beer, cans have a little trick. Flip them upside down and you'll see that there's a date code printed in the bottom. By using this date code, brewers can understand how long their beer is lasting on the shelves and make sure that it stays fresh for you. Now, what's the solution if you're concerned about beer staling? Well, it's to go to your local craft brewery in person and drink up their beer. Enjoy it while it's fresh and tasty and support your local craft. Seems like a win-win to me. I'm Tim from Canadian Craft Tours and if you've enjoyed these videos, please go ahead and pop the tab on this can and click like and subscribe. Ding that little bell for us. Thanks.